And you know, as we head into the tropics or hurricane season, you hear us talk about El Nino and La Nina a lot and uh, how they influence uh, not only the global pattern, but specifically the Atlantic hurricane season. So when you're in an El Nino, what happens is you have warm waters off the uh, coast of uh, South America in the Pacific. This is an El Nino setup, but we're not in an El Nino setup and we're not expecting to be in an El Nino setup through the rest of this hurricane season, uh, which is the opposite of what we want. El Nino usually means less active where it looks like we could transition to a La Nina as we go into September, October, November. So what does that mean and how does that happen? Well, this is all controlled by the trade winds. When you have an El Nino, the trade winds at the equator are usually pretty weak. It allows the waters to just kind of get stagnant down here and really warm up. But when you have a stronger trade wind out of the east, that's when you transition to a La Nina. It pushes all that warm water west. It allows some upwelling of that cooler water from deep in the Pacific to come up and you get cool conditions off uh, the coast of South America, but that has influences what happens at the temperature or the surface of the sea and what's going to happen up in the upper atmosphere. So whenever you transition to La Nina, here's what happens in the Pacific. You have a big trough that starts to develop just kind of an upper level trough, and that means less storms, more wind shear. But Whenever you have a trough, you've got to have a ridge somewhere, and that ridge sets up in the Caribbean, and that means uh, less wind shear, lower wind shear in our part of the, uh, the Atlantic Basin, and that can correlate to more storms. So that's why when you transition to La Nina, uh, it becomes more active typically in the Atlantic Basin, and it looks like that could happen maybe by September, October, November. Of course, that's the peak of hurricane season, so that's why we're thinking things are probably going to start to uh, tick back up as we go into August, September, and they normally do, but uh, with La Nina, it can really elevate our hurricane season. So something we'll be watching, but that's what you hear us talk about when we talk about La Nina and uh, El Nino and why it affects our hurricane season. Now.